Here's how to fix your iPhone touch screen if it's not responding. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go into the settings here on any iPhone. I'm on my iPhone 16 Pro. Now, from here, the first thing we'll do is scroll down a little bit and we're going to tap on general here midway down. And now from the general section, all we're going to do is scroll down to the very bottom and you can see shut down. Just tap on the shutdown button to restart your phone. You'd be surprised how many times your phone screen, if it's not working properly, just a proper shutdown or a force restart and a reboot will fix the issues. If that doesn't fix the issues, let's go back out of here and we'll tap on accessibility right under general. Now, from here, we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to choose touch under physical and motor here. There could be two potential culprits. One is haptic touch here. So tap on that and you can see touch duration. You can see it will default to how quickly or slowly you need to tap on something. So you can choose it too fast if you want it to really quickly be able to respond to it. Or if it's basically too responsive, you can always switch it to slow. So if you want to just switch this touch duration to fast and that should help out. Now, another thing we'll do is go back and go to touch accommodations here. Now, if this is turned on, it will have certain touch accommodations, like you have to hold that tap on your phone, basically to it for it to register anything or swipe, or it'll ignore repeated taps, stuff like that. So I would recommend on here, just scrolling up and turning this off. If you haven't already, basically, if it's on, turn it off. The next thing that we'll do is we'll go back out here to the very beginning of your settings. And we'll tap on general here again towards the bottom and we'll tap on software update. You'd be surprised how many times just updating your software to the latest version fixes a lot of bugs and glitches on your iPhone screen. Now, if you're still running into issues, the next thing I would recommend doing is taking off any kind of screen protector. Sometimes they can get smudged up or cracked and it can impact the responsiveness of your iPhone touchscreen. So take off that screen protector, get a nice cloth and clean that specific screen so that it is free and clear. If you're still having issues with your iPhone touchscreen, just not responding or having issues or glitching, then you might want to take it into an Apple store or an authorized retailer, have them plug your phone in and run some diagnostics, you might need to replace the screen on your iPhone.